and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I decided to uh, improve a little bit my Sony Super Audio CD player. Uh, it has a couple minor issues. One, I like it's uh, sometimes not uh, sense that disk is fully closed, so I need to clean up and check the switch. Also, uh, I did once uh, increase the laser power. It did help, so it became read uh, multiple disks better, but it's still like, uh, don't like uh, scratch disks, uh, which are perfectly fine, has been read by an Akamichi player. So I ordered and received the new uh, laser pickup together with the motors. So everything assembled. As you may see, so there is just two ports there to adjust power for uh, two laser diodes. One is uh, for uh, CD reading, red laser, and other one is for super audio CD discs. So what I will be doing, I will try to replace uh, this new pickup uh, with the older one and see if it starts to scratch the discs perfectly well as uh, Nakamichi does. All right, and also my goal is like, uh, remember I've been installing capacitors which uh, are been solid, solid po polymer capacitors. I played a while, it does do very, very high frequencies, but I didn't like how overall it was sounding. So I replaced it back with the originals. And now when I get uh, a bunch of fine gold capacitors from Nichicon. I would like to replace and install Nichicon because from uh, my perspective, I like Nichicon sound more, uh, specifically on uh, this high grade decks. All right, um, let me see what I will achieve. You're welcome to follow. Now I will open this CD player and let's start working on it. Meet you in a moment. All right, uh, here everything is opened and we will be going step by step to make sure that uh, we will uh, keep the older laser intact and it will work. So first of all, I'm removing these connectors here and now I can remove this board but don't disconnect this cable yet because it connects with a laser pickup and we need to put solder uh, into pins to make sure it would not fry it with uh, static electricity all right so let me open it Probably I can put you a little bit higher than that. Let me see. All right. And the last one is here. So we have four screws holding this board in place. Now I can put it aside and remove this metal shield. And you may see it has some additional board here. I'm not quite sure for what reason it's made. So let me see. All right, and from the other side. We have two more screws. Checking that I also will remove this screw which holds wires here just to make sure that it will not keep us from removing this plate 
auto for you. All right, and one screw left here. Now we have access. And the next step would be to remove this cover here, I believe. So this is the laser. Well, technically, uh, we may remove the old transport out of place, I believe. If we remove the rest of the screws with extender. Right. So, and from the other side, let me collect my screws because it's becoming too too many of them. So I will put them in my box. That's four. Another four. And it's two from this cover from this mechanism all right and the other side you will be able to see now well so we're removing this guy here You see, the blacks are installed on this side and regular on the other side of this holder. Now can you remove this cover? Alright. And I believe we have one. No, we don't have anything here. So we should be free to go, but we need to remove this from the front side the glass. It will not go inside this. Alright. Let me put you to the side for a moment and give a little bit of space to see how I may open it here. There should be drive mechanism. Which pulls this carriage back and forth. All right. 
right, let me check service manual because I don't like to break anything. And I feel that it should be easy. It should be moving. So this one is for the head. I need to remove this cover to get to the mechanism. All right, see you in a moment. All right, I'm back. So there is a hole in the bottom. All right, so we need flat screwdriver and turn the cam clockwise, I believe. No, counterclockwise, it opens. It doesn't want to go. Okay, let me see. It, it did a little bit. Okay, now, now it's moving. All right. Now we have access and I can remove this cover here. Yeah, a little bit not convenient to disassemble. All right. This cover here. I hope you would be able to see it. This is two screws down there. This one and the other one. And this is removed. And now we have access to the mechanism. We can pull it up. All right. Here it goes. Uh -huh. So technically we can remove this connector because it doesn't hold us. Uh, it's not connected to the pickup, there is additional board. And now we can work safely on this pickup scene while I can remove the body to the side. All right. Let me prepare and I will set everything right here. All right, ready? So that's where we were put in our uh, screwdriver. And you see what's happening when it's fully in, this gear locks and it wouldn't go up. So what we need to do, turn it slightly to release. And now you see we can pull it up and down, out and in. Like easily all right our uh, here is the switch uh, one which sends like when we fully out here you see it works like that but i still didn't find how it sends when the disc is fully in so there is another switch install it but it's probably Uh, it sends uh -huh, when when the carriage will be up and disc would be possible to load all right so next uh, to get here and re remove the tri transport 
I need to remove this carriage to do it. I will remove this screw here. Like that. All right. And this should help us release. Uh -huh. We need to remove the second screw here. Right now, it shouldn't be tight, and yes, we can release it like that. Put it aside. I don't want to put uh, these board, these capacitors here, like that. So I will be holding it, so we can remove the shaft. Uh, and let's see. Uh, Let me check this transport so it should have solder joint and it does and it's right here you see on the corner of this board let me show you closer you may see so there is a big ball with solder and we would need to get exactly the same ball right here before we will disconnect but I'm quite not sure how I can get my soldering iron there. So there is four traces which needs to be connected before we can disconnect this cable. Okay. Alright, let me see what I can use. All right, a little bit more light here. All right, and here we need to put solder. To avoid any statics. So. Yes, I was successful, and you see, how to show you, you see a large ball of solder on the corner of the board. All right, now we can disconnect this connector by gently pulling it out. Okay, I'm done. Uh, losing gears. This one is showing. Okay. Okay, and I will replace this belt. So it's been replaced, but it's too weak already. So that would be the next step. Now, let me pull it like that, so our board would not have any pressure. I need different screwdriver for these four screws. This screws it's in a plastic so they quite easy to work on. Alright, now we should be able to remove the pickup 
one here, right? So there one more connector <laughs> oh, on the side. Okay, let me see how to get here. What? All right, and now I can finally disconnect it. All right, and we need to save this cable to install the new pickup together with this spring here and these four rubber parts here. Whew. We get the new pickup. looks exactly the same that's a good sign so let me reinstall the cable All right so install the cable into the new pickup now I need to install the rubber inserts all right it's like that so it's quite easy to do i may probably transfer it here so work them slowly one by one the good thing is that this latest generation uh, Laser players and like CD players, MD players, MD recorders, so they still have uh, laser heads and pickups available. So that's a good sign. That's how it works. Okay. And this everything automated. So there is no tuning on the board like in the older pickups when you have to adjust using oscilloscope signals. Uh, because uh, they full automated it in this later generation. I have read service manual for that. All right. Now I can put this pickup aside. I'm not sure what this sign mean, what this addition here mean. And maybe it was preventing fully closing the drive. I'm quite not sure. If you know, uh, put comments under my video. So if you have any idea why they did it. All right. So now this pickup removed. And we may install this one. Right here. Connect motors, so cable back, and see them like that here. Now we can install screws. So it's been like more than 20 years since this CD player was produced. And it's time to replace pickup to make sure it will work long and well and read all the discs. These pickups are still available. So I'm ordering mine from China you may find them in many places so it's i believe i don't remember the model but you can quickly find it it's something like uh, hb 260 or something like that all right now next 
we have it joined together we need to connect this connector back into the boards slowly and gently inserting while it's stock going in and now we have to remove solder from there I believe I would need to pull this board up otherwise I don't see how I can do it so it's three screws only and we will need to have this board connected again so what I will do I will disconnect here right and I believe I will be able to pull it up right so I need to disconnect second connector here all right now now we have access I believe I hope they can do it a little bit better all right, and now I have to use wick to remove solder. All right, we moved. We are clean. You may see if I will put it close like that. You see those four pins on the side of the board. That's what you need to do, really. Now we can put board back. in position and use our three screws to fix it if you forget where to put screws so there is arrows in every place so it's quite easy to remember I just check it up. I have just part of these capacitors available. If I would have everyone, I would probably <laughs> replace them because I, they sit underneath. And like next time, if something gets wrong, I would need to pull up this board again. And this is not desirable. All right, so this is one connector. It's here and it's other. All right, this part has been assembled. I lost just second gear. <laughs> now belt. Let me see this one. Yeah, you see, it was sitting in one position forever. Now we need to find the replacement. And this one was 60 millimeters half length. All right. Or if you, if you see inches, it will be two, 2.4 inches.
this one should be good and I don't think that such sick was here really from the factory it just was installed to pull harder and I need to find why why it seems that it needs to pull harder and the end all right let me see and it works fine it's more tight than original and the force is good really it should be pulling really well No. This chair here. This big one here. So that's how it will be moving. And probably add a little bit of lubricant on these two shafts because I see a little bit there. It's still time. Twenty years. It's enough. Alright, and this one has a metal insert. Yes, that's why it's lubricated. Ah, and it's not rotating anymore. So that's probably the problem why it was not pulling to the end. <sighs> no, no, it just glued it here. Glued it inside. Really interesting. You see, so it's inserted and like it's split from the side and it's glued. Never seen this design, so probably it was broken before. I'm not sure. Okay, now it's a race position here. All right, so guys, uh, I have to go now. I see you in my next part. And here I'm back. I lubricated to assemble these gears, so they work together like that. So when they're in this position, they rotate, not rotate, they pull up, out and in uh, the carriage with the disc. When disc is fully inserted, they get into this position with the same motor you see mechanism gets up to the disc close it here and here is the switch the blue one when it sends that is the end uh, of operation and it needs to stop the rolling this motor also i was looking into the original mechanism and i also found so there is a switch so when this head gets into this position to the zero track so the switch it senses it's now that it's at the zero position and then it can go from the middle of the disc to the side like that all right good so now i will check the switch that it works properly and to do that i need to connect here so let me see now I will put it like that. All 
All right, so you will be able to hear. I believe so it has middle position and two side positions. All right, so I see like how pins solder it. So, all right, now let's meditate. Yeah, you see, as soon as it closes, like that, it sends that it's loaded. All right, technically, it should work properly without any issues. All right, so let me see. Let me assemble it now. And let's see how it will operate. So it was uh, con uh, short in uh, producing contact, not fully engaged. So we have also spare some space, so it should be good. I may try to spray inside if I will see any holes. better is there any holes no nothing can work it out a little bit and then the other one the lab was the same you see Pretty simplistic switches. I don't see any holes. All right, so now let's assemble this part. That's what we need to lubricate so it don't go smoothly through so these parts. So, and it's metal on metal. Better. So I will start here. And this one just goes out. screw then assemble this part I 
I hope you're still interested in this stuff because like all CD players from this series are the same mechanically. Uh, 33, 555 and 777. So the mechanism is exactly the same. No difference. All right. Okay, it's closed. Now if you will rotate, it's a little bit, it will open. And it's, it's gonna rotate. And then it gets closed. All right. And then motor will pull mechanism up here. All right. It should continue rotating with this mechanism and it will pull it, it right here. Can I do it? Uh -huh. It should go also more in and then. Oh, yeah. Now let me assemble it back to the body and let's check how it will perform. position now I need to understand why here done okay this is properly we can fix it Extender. Maybe not. Maybe I'm not doing it correctly. No. We should install cover to use these holes.
Check on the mm -hmm. Looks fine. Done. And now sits well. Oh. A little bit more than I expected. Okay, I'm just checking if I connected all wires. Looks like there is no more any wires left. I believe there was somewhere. Let me check one more time and I will get back with you. All right, I just checked my video, so there should not be any additional connectors. So we have just one. And here we have our cover with the board like that. Holding screws. From the other side, One screw holding the wires here. All right, and now we should be good putting and connecting this board back. And it's another four screws for this board. So procedure is not super complex, but require some skills. And as you remember, there is no 100% guarantee that this will work. First of all, this new pickup came from China, and I'm not sure how long it was lying there, when it was manufactured, and so on. But let's hope for better.
but if it will work, new laser pickup will have another 20 years. All right, connecting. That's one. And then the third. Okay. Whew. Now, moment of truth. So, do you believe it will work? Let me connect 100 volts adapter. Power supply. My test disc. She's a bit scratchy. Okay, the power soon. Rotate it a little bit. Opens. Talk reading. Yeah, it works. Here we go. We just have read the talk. And now it should be playing. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, this disc has a big problem, so it should not be playing after one of the tracks because when I was fixing Pioneer CD it's uh, pulled down the laser with the lens and heavily scratched this disc. Let me see. All right, works. I believe it's never read above fifth or sixth on, on this disc. Seven, eleventh. So see all tracks it can read now. That's a good sign. Now let me see. I believe I had to help it to go in. But now now it's now it goes fine. Probably the first time while everything sit in place. Oi, let me bring in Super Audio CD disc and let's check the Super Audio CD will work fine. See you in a moment. All right, everyone. I just brought Super Audio CD disc. So let's check if it will work. Because this head has two lasers. One for regular CDs and one for Super Audio CDs. So now it should read it as CD. Yeah, it shows hybrid disc and CD mode. And now I can switch to Super Audio CD like that. And it's Super Audio CD mode. Reading the talk. And playing. I believe it's become a little bit louder <laughs> when searching for the tracks, but uh, it works much better. All right, good, works. And now the disc which this player was stuck in and never going above fifth track. So let me show you how poorly it's scratched. 
so I'm not sure due to reflections if you may see everything but this disc I, I get it from eBay they ask like five bucks for it but it's so heavily scratched let me see if I can clean it up a little bit better but it was always stuck in the position like never go above fifth track now let me clean it a little bit no it's even don't clean it's better it's, it's it's so so poorly treated this disc it's crazy okay moment of truth if it will work now okay it's found regular cd read and talk shows first track playing nakamichi post playing this disc well despite all the scratches second track playing third place fourth place fifth and on six it was always stuck now it quickly plays you see seventh place so you see old laser is cannot be the new laser <laughs> really i'm so happy i cannot tell you my words how how happy i am nine track tens and this place 11th and specifically it was poorly reading the tracks which closer to the side and now now it works well all right that would be it so i will assemble it uh, i also will replace uh, capacitors so i believe like these six guys here uh, which are responsible for the output to their say, connectors and interesting that here they have Nichicon Gold but here they have all capacitors from Elna all right let me change it and assemble and then we will listen what I get it was a long video, but I hope it worth it, because now you can replace lasers in your Sony players just following similar steps, nothing complex technically, you need just one pin of solder, and that's it. See you, bye bye. Alright guys, uh, I just installed it six Nichicon fine gold capacitors in place of the six capacitors from Elna and here you may see uh, from the bottom of this board uh, let me show you so there's connectivity these three are duck chips right each uh, has two channels so it's multi-channel super audio cd and then like there is for each output there is a um, double a pump which converts current into voltage and then these two voltages positive and negative goes to the differential or pump and then goes to the output through capacitor and this for each channel like so we have one two three four five six channels and they're similar and on this side you may see just resistors transistors microchips and here you may see all the capacitors which support it and these six capacitors I just replaced and these capacitors are the only ones which affects the sound together with these black guys so they install it in a parallel uh, to make sound more beautiful all right let me assemble close it and let's listen